Have you ever watched the 1973 movie Serpico? Perhaps it's a cherished memory from your past, or maybe you remember the first time you sat down to experience this iconic film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Serpico, directed by Sidney Lumet and starring Al Pacino, is a classic crime drama that takes us into the gritty underbelly of the New York City Police Department. Based on the true story of Frank Serpico, a courageous officer who exposed corruption within the force, this film delves into the moral complexities of one man's fight for justice in a system filled with corruption. But before we invite your memories and personal experiences, here are a few random facts about the movie released in 1973. Serpico received critical acclaim and remains a powerful exploration of police ethics and personal integrity. It's a film that has stood the test of time, leaving an indelible mark on cinema history. Now, we'd like to know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Serpico. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. Serpico, a 1973 crime drama film directed by Sidney Lumet and based on a true story, follows the life of Frank Serpico, portrayed by Al Pacino. Serpico is an idealistic an honest New York City cop who becomes determined to expose corruption within the police force. The film explores his relentless pursuit of justice and the numerous challenges he faces as he tries to remain true to his principles in a system riddled with corruption. Al Pacino's iconic performance as the titular character and Lumet's gritty and authentic filmmaking style contribute to the film's lasting impact. Serpico sheds light on the systemic issues within law enforcement and serves as a thought-provoking critique of power, integrity, and the battle against institutional wrongdoing. Its influence on the crime genre and portrayal of the whistleblower's struggle has left an indelible mark on popular culture, making it a classic in the realm of police procedurals and a standout in Pacino's illustrious career. Al Pacino's commitment to his role in the 1973 movie Serpico was unwavering. According to director Sidney Lumet, Pacino remained in character both on and off camera, adapting his behavior to match the character's state of mind in each scene. Whether it was a light-hearted moment or a scene requiring anger, Pacino stayed in character, making his performance all the more convincing. This dedication to his role undoubtedly contributed to the authenticity and impact of the film. This level of commitment from Al Pacino sheds light on the depth of effort put into bringing the true story of Frank Serpico to the screen. It's a testament to the actor's professionalism and the lengths he went to in order to portray the iconic character. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of the 1973 movie Serpico. The film Serpico, directed by Sidney Lumet in 1973, had a tight schedule for shooting, editing, and mixing. It was slated to open by Christmas, leaving just four minutes one divided by two months for these tasks, which Lumet considered an insanely short time. This forced the editing process to happen concurrently with filming. Scenes were completed and promptly sent to editor Deed Allen, who had to cut the footage within 48 hours and prepare it for the sound department. The intense time constraints added to the film's challenges and highlight the dedication of the production team in bringing Serpico to the screen. The film Serpico, directed by Sidney Lumet in 1973, features a notable location detail. In the movie, Al Pacino's character, Frank Serpico, lives at 57 Minetta Street in Greenwich Village. Interestingly, the real Frank Serpico lived just a few blocks away at Perry, in Greenwich. This connection between the character and the real-life person adds an intriguing layer of authenticity to the film. It's a small but significant detail that helps immerse the audience in the world of Serpico. This location choice is just one of the many elements that contributed to the film's overall impact and authenticity. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of the 1973 movie Serpico. Principal photography began a year after Frank Serpico resigned from the New York City Police Department. This crucial timing allowed the 1973 movie Serpico to closely follow the real-life events. The film's dedication to authenticity extended beyond the timeline. For instance, the actors were allowed to do some improvisation in their scenes. Much of Al Pacino's explosive reaction in Serpico's last abortive meeting with his former captain was off the cuff. It's these details that added depth and realism to the film, making it a compelling portrayal of a true story. 
Additionally, associate producer Roger Rothstein praised director Sidney Lumet as a tremendously organized director who managed to motivate everyone to achieve remarkable efficiency during filming, often accomplishing up to 35 setups in a single day. These insights shed light on the meticulous work behind the 1973 movie Serpico. In the 1973 movie Serpico, the main character has two girlfriends, Leslie and Laurie. Interestingly, in real life, Frank Serpico married not just these two women, but two more Marianne and Marion. This intriguing aspect of his personal life adds depth to the character and sheds light on the complexities of his relationships. It's a fascinating detail that offers a glimpse into the real man behind the iconic film character. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of the 1973 movie Serpico. Before filming, Al Pacino spent a great deal of time with the real Frank Serpico to perfect his performance. He even invited Serpico to stay with him in Montauk, NY, and in a candid moment, Pacino asked him, why did you do it? Serpico's response was, well, Al, I don't know. I guess I would have to say it would be because if I didn't, who would I be when I listened to a piece of music? This intimate connection between the actor and the real-life inspiration behind the film added a layer of authenticity to Al Pacino's portrayal of Frank Serpico. It's a testament to the dedication of both Pacino and Serpico in bringing this iconic character to life on the screen. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of the 1973 movie Serpico. The film Serpico from 1973 was originally planned as a star vehicle for Paul Newman and Robert Redford, following their success in Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid. Redford was intended to play Frank Serpico, while Newman would have portrayed his lawyer friend David Dirk, a character renamed Bob Blair in the final film, and played by Tony Roberts. However, the casting eventually shifted, leading to Al Pacino's iconic portrayal of Frank Serpico. This change in casting decisions had a significant impact on the film's direction and the way Pacino brought the character to life on the screen. Sidney Lumet, the director of Serpico, had a unique approach to filmmaking. On the first day of shooting, he liked to keep things simple, focusing on basic entrances and exits to help the actors and crew get comfortable with each other and the fast pace of the production. This approach allowed the film to maintain its inner tension and keep the narrative and characters alive. Al Pacino, who had just come from the methodically slow process of The Godfather, had to adapt quickly to Lumet's rapid style of shooting. This transition in the filmmaking process was essential in capturing the energy and intensity that became a hallmark of the movie. The film also ends with an intriguing epilogue that tells us Frank Serpico resigned from the police department in 1972 and received the Medal of Honor for Bravery. It mentions that Serpico lived in Switzerland for a time, but eventually returned to the United States. By 2015, he was residing on a small farm in upstate New York and working as a guest lecturer at police academies across the country. This epilogue sheds light on what happened to the real-life Frank Serpico after the events depicted in the film, providing a compelling real-world connection to the movie. These aspects of the film's casting and the director's approach to shooting, along with the epilogue's insight into Frank Serpico's post-police life, add depth to the understanding of the 1973 movie Serpico. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the cinematic landscape of 1,973 seconds Serpico, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this film has had on your cinematic experience. The gritty portrayal of an honest cop navigating a sea of corruption is a narrative that resonates through time, and perhaps it mirrors your own encounters with the complexities of integrity and morality in your life. The character of Frank Serpico, brilliantly brought to life by Al Pacino, serves as an enduring symbol of unwavering determination, a beacon of justice in a world where lines blur all too easily. The film's portrayal of his struggles and triumphs might resonate with the challenges you've faced or the ideals you hold dear. Now, I encourage you to share your thoughts, your favorite moments, or even personal connections you have with this timeless classic. Did it inspire you, spark conversations, or leave an indelible mark on your perspective? Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic gem. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic adventure and for sharing your reflections on Serpico. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated as we continue to explore the vast world of film. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep the love for movies alive.
And remember, it's the stories that connect us all.